Hi, I'm Ken Goldstein, and I am the author of the Way of the Nerd series and the host of the Day of the Nerd seminar. The Day of the Nerd is for anyone who has just had enough. They, they just get to a point in their life where no matter what they do, it doesn't seem to bring them the peace of mind uh, that makes them feel that they achieved what they set out to do in life. This is stealth self-help. This is one day, get in, clear your baggage, arm yourself with all the tools you need to be successful and get out and take on the world. The Day of the Nerd happens over the course of an entire weekend, but the day itself is actually just one day, but it's a long day. It's from, the, from 7 o'clock in the morning when we have the initial yoga and meditation class in the morning to the very first seminar, which is about connecting to your spiritual goals, to the workshops that you'll encounter with my mentors that have all been trained in the, in the Way of the Nerd philosophy of life and all our successes under that, gui under that guideline. Uh, throughout the day, you're going to be taught how to reach your personal goals, how to reach your professional goals, your creative goals. In the evening, we do, we do a lot of bonding exercises. There's a screening that I host. And then around 10, 11 o'clock at night, we do one last midnight meditation before the, before the day of the nerd ends. And in the morning, we wake up, we have breakfast together, it's, it's a, an incredible feeling of connecting to the, the other couple hundred people that are there with you, and you, you leave and you go back into the world and you're refreshed. It's like I say at the beginning of the way of the nerd, to accept this philosophy is to become a newborn child. I came into this way of the nerd consciousness in 2010. It happened really quick. Uh, I was 40 years old. I had lived my life a certain way that is needing to be right in situations, needing to be heard in situations, needing to uh, put my ego out there and thinking that all the ways that I had been taught to be successful were going to work. And I looked around one day and I realized even though I had a lot of the trappings of success, I didn't feel it inside. And I discovered a, uh, a little used book copy of the Tao Te Ching, Lao Tzu's epic uh, masterpiece that became my guide to life. And I spent the entire year of 2010 um, deconstructing my life and reconstructing it according to the tenets in the Tao Te Ching, which is really what the core of all of my teaching now is about. In, in my history, professionally, I have had a very diverse uh, set of experiences. I've worked in the healthcare industry, I've worked in the entertainment industry, I've worked in law enforcement, I've worked in everything from civil service all the way up to you know, being a television newscaster and news anchor. And I feel that all along the way, the mistakes that I made were, are extremely common to what all of us make in every part of our life. Uh, and I just have been lucky enough to have the time now to deconstruct my life and to figure out what it is that I did wrong that was uh, total counter, totally counterproductive to my success. I'm from the Midwest. And I grew up in, in a town where if, it, if you didn't see an immediate result in something or you, it wasn't tangible, then I just didn't buy into it. My, my, for most of my life, I've been a guy that if it's, it, it's been very black and white for me. I have to either, either, this, either something makes sense to me or it doesn't. And as I got into my 30s, a lot of things that I thought were truths just weren't. They stopped becoming, you know, things that I thought were going to work out a certain way because I behaved a certain way or I followed the company line. It just wasn't working for me. And I kept hearing stories about people who were living extraordinary lives who did nothing, had no typical path to them whatsoever. So I, what I say to people who kind of laugh off self-help and laugh off philosophy, I say, yeah, there's a lot of really bad stuff out there and a lot of bad content. And people, I think, waste a ton of money on self-help stuff. And for me, it just never worked. I, I can't sit through a lecture. I can't read a book. I'm just like a self-help book. It just bores me to no end. But I discovered some, some uh, audio tapes years ago uh, by Wayne Dyer, and that made a huge difference for me because he was the first speaker that I had heard who just told it straight. And there was, he, he, this is a guy who made mistakes in his life but who experienced great success because he changed his thought process and his words, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. And I thought to myself, you know, maybe, maybe what I need to do, because I felt compelled to tell my truth in a book and now a seminar, is maybe I just need to tell it straight. Be vulnerable in my writing, be vulnerable in my teachings, be vulnerable in my seminars. And in that way, I think people can relate to my struggle and, and the tools that I use now to have the success that I have. Uh, I think they can relate to them a lot better than if I was to try and 
you know, stand on stage for two and a half hours and explain something. To me, it's all about getting in and getting out philosophy. So what I say to people who are hesitant to buy into a new doctrine or to buy into something that they're a little unsure of if it's going to work and it sounds like it's a big ordeal and that they'll be have classes and books, and all, it's not what the way of the nerd is. The way of the nerd is... Is it's, it's, it is, I call it stealth, self, stealth self-help. This is getting to the core of a problem, fixing it in a day, and being done with it. What I am very proud of is that I am not looking to do anything but to get this philosophy into your head and to get out. I am not, I am not looking for followers of what I do. I'm looking for people who, are, who believe, as I do, that problems in your life are only as difficult as you make them. So if there's something going wrong in your life or you're having trouble achieving something you want to achieve, I don't believe it takes hundreds of hours of therapy and thousands of dollars on a therapist or weeks and weeks and weeks of seminars and lectures. I think that, that the ability for someone to make a substantial change in their life happens in an instant. I think all of us, no matter how successful we are, there are parts of our life where we don't feel like we're living up to our potential, where we go to sleep at night and there's a little bit of regret. And, and so no matter how happy you are, no matter how much success you have, there's always that thing that still lingers. There's, maybe there's a little fear. Maybe, you know, um, I'm, I, I come from a family where everybody was always afraid of the other shoe dropping. So if something good was happening, they were waiting for something bad to happen, which I think 99% of the population feels. And, you know, in way of the nerd philosophy, there is no such thing as bad because bad is life lessons. There is no opposite side of success. Failure is just an opportunity, opportunity to learn.